Over the years, people have traveled to Calvin University and Calvin Theological Seminary in Grand Rapids, Michigan to worship and learn. This year, we travel virtually around the world to many different worshiping communities. We are living in a time of fear, upheaval, and so much death. Each community has been shaped by the COVID-19 pandemic in different ways. However, we know that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We cling to this promise which will guide us for this online experience. Hello and greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our brothers and sisters in Christ and those who have yet to know him. We at the Singapore Bible College are grateful and thankful for the Worship Symposium at Calvin uh, 2021 for having invited us to join you in this amazing and wonderful program. Before we begin, kindly allow me to introduce myself. I am Pastor Joseph Lee, uh, the Academic Dean of the School of Church Music. And here I come to you bringing greetings from our school. It's been an, an accredited seminary for the last uh, 68 years, and we are made up of four schools, the School of Theology for English, the School of Theology in Chinese, School of Church Music, and the School of Counseling. Currently, we have about 500 students with us enrolled, and they are scattered across Southeast Asia because of the pandemic, so our, own, our classes are all online and yet uh, there are many of us who are in residence with us in our dorms. Uh, our student population made, uh, is made up of people from over 29 countries all across South, Southeast Asia and as far as UK, Africa, New Zealand and, in, and the USA. For this time of music and worship, uh, it is mainly led by the faculty and the students of the School of Church Music, and we have had many um, cross schools where the, the rest of the SBC family have also joined in. While you may be fascinated with the array of musical instruments uh, from our students' own home countries, you know our deeper prayer for you is that you would have an amazing wonder and awe as you wait at the foot of the cross of Christ, or whether you're in the quiet room interacting with his Holy Spirit and listening to his voice, or at the foot of the throne of a majestic God. That is our prayer above any other thing here. So join us as we look to the Lord from grief to praise, from declaration to adoration. My brothers and sisters, let's join our hearts in worship. Devaputranmare, Yehovaki Kodukovin, Yehovaki Mahatum Sakti Kodukovin, Zapuza ye muke kuapi, Manga Bigai Kayo Sapangin on, O Kayong Ma Anak Nang Makapang Yarihan, Manga Bigai Kayo Sapangin on Nang Alwal Hatian at Kalakas. Shen the Jungzi, Yao Kui Ki Yehua, Niman Yaba Rong Yao, Kernung Li. Kepada Tuhan sajalah kemuliaan dan kekuatan. Ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name. 
Worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. and most loving Heavenly Father. Lord, we, your church, join in one heart, in one praise. For we rejoice in the fullness of who you are and your wondrous deeds in the past, today, and in future times. And yet, Lord, as the world suffers with this pandemic, we, God, your children, want to declare this that you are God and Lord over all peoples and your kingdom's purposes are never derailed. We declare your promises are not thwarted, not of balance, no, not by our circumstance. So join our hearts. 
hearts, O oh Lord, as we cry to you with one voice. We cry to you, O oh Lord, and say, God, you are a God of all glory. And we know that your voice thunders in the heavens above. And your voice will ripple the waters below for your almighty God. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. O great and fearsome God, the seas rage and seethe in their fury. The winds swirl above the waters. The waves they are too great. Above us are dark clouds. Your voice is as thunder. Your words crackle with fire, and we are like flotsam from ships torn asunder. We remember how we have grieved you, wounded you with our petty bickering. Our churches are as warring tribes. Our words are poison spears aimed to inflict, to denigrate to divide, to destroy. We are a petulant people, quick to judge, slow to forgive, resisting to reconcile. We have twisted the truth and accepted the lie. We mock the weak and praise the arrogant. We have welcomed pretenders and wished harm on the poor. Forgive us, O Lord. Our sin is too great. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon to skip like a calf and Sarayan like a young wild ox. The forests have become a wasteland. Trunk upon trunk, the trees are all felled and reduced to mere rubble. The land, one slush with fruit and vegetation, is now a scene of carnage and destruction. The ground shakes and tumbles wildly. There is no foothold, no safe refuge, no banister to hold on to. The earth is split. It devours all into its gaping wound. We are your churches, struck down by political earthquakes. We live in lands where our peaceful assemblies of worship are regarded as subversive to the ruling order. There are those who seek our destruction. They hunt us down with eyes on the ground and eyes in the sky. Our gathering places are burned torn down by axe and gunfire. Many of our pastors are rounded like cattle, imprisoned, tortured, never seen of again. The ground shudders and we lose our footing. We are pushed and poked from every side. Our ribs ache and bruise. We walk like three-legged animals. Our limbs have grown frail and we falter and skip and measure each step. Remember your suffering, church, O Lord. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The heavens unleash a frightful spectacle, like grisly fingers of filament and flame. They spear our senses, and we are dumbstruck with awe. In your loud voice, Lord, do you hear our wailing? The forests are thick with smoke plumes and ash. 
our homes and our fields now wantonly burned. The earth has grown hotter, our crops yield no fruit, our rivers have dried up, our people are hungry, our cupboards are bare, resources are scarce and our churches cry out. Does the world even care? The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forests bare. Our grief knows no end. The barren land shudders and is riven in two. Our hearts know no peace. Our eyes are dried out from gnashing and weeping. There is nowhere to turn. The nights are too deafening with a silence so deep. We gaze toward the hills, now darkened by shadows of an unending night.
the secrets of the hidden depths belong to God The God of the deep is also the Lord of the small. For whether the darkness of the deep leaves us in bewildered fear, or the despair of those frail and ill and the faint and afraid, the psalmist in Psalms 29 verse 9 says, And in his temple all cry, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned, over the flood, the Lord sits enthroned as king forever.
What else is there left to be said? Our brokenness is never to be suffered in isolation. Whether young, whether old, whether able-bodied or broken, whether those whose fig trees blossom and fruit, and for those whose vineyards suffer drought, may our laments quickly turn to trust. May our trust turn to conviction, our conviction to deepening faith. And why? Because our God is always good. Our God is always able. God ordains is always good, His will abideth holy. As He directs my life for me, I follow meek and lowly. God indeed in every need doth well know how to shield me. To Him then I will yield me. What God ordains is always good, He never will deceive me. He leads me in His own right way and never will he leave me. I take content what he hath sent. His hand that sends me sadness will turn my tears to gladness. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good. What God ordains is always good, His loving thought attends me. No poison can be in the cup that my physician sends me. My God is true, each morn anew, I'll trust His grace unending, my life to Him commending. What God ordains is always good, He is my friend and father. He suffers not to do me harm, though many storms may gather. Now I may know both joy and woe. Someday I shall see clearly that He hath loved me dearly. What God ordains is always good, though I the cup am drinking, which savors now of bitterness, I take it without shrinking. For after grief God grants relief, my heart with comfort filling, and all my sorrow stilling. What God ordains is always good, this truth remains unshaken. I fear no harm for with his heart he shall embrace and shield me. So to my God I shield me.
And so we conclude with Psalms 29 verse 11 that says, May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. And that same voice declares the blessing. That same voice speaks. The same voice that speaks over the waters and shakes the wilderness. The same voice that says, I am your God and you are my people. The same voice that said, this is my beloved son, now blesses the people with peace. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you with my righteous right hand. To the glory of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we pray and proclaim. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I invite you now to continue your praise as we come before the Lord and together with one voice say, Hallelujah to the Lamb. I will. 
在我们中间，直到我们被改变，像你，叫万国得以看见，你荣耀彰显，来敬拜你。站立，万口、万族、万民和万邦，献上荣耀，献上尊贵，献上赞美，归羔羊，升羔羊。